Samson. Is that correct? Uh, it is. Are you familiar with this document? I have seen this document. The last email in the string is an email from Mr. Samson to an email address st at gwb43.com. Yes. Is that your Republican National Committee email address? That is a domain controlled by the Republican National Committee that I uh, used when um, uh, I had political matters. So that was your Republican National Committee email address? Uh, yes, that is in fact my address, was my address. How frequently did you use this email address? Uh, I used it a fair amount. I mean, people had the address and emailed me and, and uh, I got a lot of news clips on it, and I read those. So I, I think it's fair to say I used it. I used it regularly. Any idea how often? I, I don't. I, I know from uh, your uh, press accounts that, that there are 66,000 emails, um, and and I've heard that, and I know that from the press. But so I believe that there are 66,000 emails. That that be using it on occasion. Well, uh, it is a, it's a lot of email, I believe, and I don't know this with certainty that the email that I have goes back to either 2001 or 2002. Now, why did you send these emails regarding the department's handling of the U.S. attorney firings from your Republican National Committee email account? Um, uh, because I can tell you as an end user of the system that was set up early in the administration to make sure that uh, uh, the president's appointees who on occasion had to address political matters uh, never violated the Hatch Act. And the, the reason for the email account was so that uh, I never put myself in a situation where I was violating the Hatch Act. We particularly didn't want to spend taxpayer dollars on political matters. And so uh, uh, as a result of that system, I had uh, you know, two computers, two Blackberries, and as somebody who just generally tried to be efficient with her time, sometimes just use the wrong computer. 